First up, the latest in the Israel-Hamas war in which the Netanyahu government has asked 1.1 billion Palestinians to evacuate northern Gaza in the next 24 hours, even as casualties on both sides have crossed the 2800 mark. Palestinians fear it could be a precursor to a planned Israeli ground offensive. Hamas, however, has called on people in Gaza to stay home and ignore Israeli evacuation orders. Following the orders, the UN said the mass relocation of the entire population in northern Gaza to the south of the enclave was impossible as the information came shortly before midnight and urgently appealed for the order to be rescinded. Amid an intensified Israeli siege cutting off water, food and power and a sudden new assault, conditions look worse than at any point since the Palestinian refugees flocked to Gaza during the 1948 fighting when Israel was founded. The Rafah border crossing between Egypt and Gaza is the only only passage in and out of the coastal enclave not controlled by Israel. On Thursday, Egypt's president stated Gazans must stay steadfast and remain on their land. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said the case of Gazans is different because their displacement would mean the elimination of the Palestinian cause. Thousands of leaflets which read evacuate your homes immediately have been dropped over Gaza by Israeli military. The UN says such a movement would not be possible without devastating humanitarian consequences. While Israel says the UN response is shameful and overlooks the brutality of the attack by, on Israel. Against the backdrop of this warning, Hamas has urged residents to not leave their homes. But some residents have started fleeing to the south. Israeli army says Hamas militants are hiding in tunnels located beneath the buildings populated by civilians. United States Secretary of Defense, who is in Israel to show solidarity, pledged ironclad support um, and again compared Hamas to terrorist organization, the ISIS. There is never any justification for terrorism. And that's especially true after that is rampaged by Hamas. And anyone who wants lasting peace and security for this region must condemn and isolate Hamas. Hamas does not speak for the Palestinian people or their legitimate hopes for dignity, security, and statehood and peace alongside Israel. 